Hey, Brendan here. Just a quick thing about Advanced Themer. Um, you, if you've used it, you probably have used the Class Converter feature. And so you can do this, and you can say whatever, Content Alpha Block, and it will do all the BEM naming, and it will put all the styling that you have at the ID level. So I've got some you know, background colors and padding, some alignment stuff on the ID level, and so we can transfer those to these BEM classes, which is really powerful. So we create those and the other nice thing that uh, you can speed up with workflow is the extend classes and so now that those classes are made and we have BEM classes etc um, we can extend classes okay extend classes extend global classes for the uh, container no we're on the wrong element so we need to go to the content wrapper and Click that and do extend classes on the block level. And if you want to extend those to the, the siblings, so the other blocks within this grid, and if there were classes on there, you can erase those classes, get rid of those classes if you have those, and it will override them. But if we just extend those, you can see now our background color, our border radius, our border um, alignment stuff has all been uh, added here. So if that's some styling that you want to add uh, to the entire um, card structure, unfortunately, it only adds the, uh, the top level class, right? So you can see here, Media Wrapper has Content Alpha and Content Alpha there, but none of the um, sub items have the BEM classes. And so you could come back here, and, and if you're going to componentize this, you might want to uh, make classes on here for your icon box right so for the your you know your icon heading or whatever uh and your the group of icons the div that holds them and then each wrapper has an icon so if you do that then you have your um other classes copy id styling i don't think there is any uh let's just create classes and now that those are created you have your icon box heading but you still have your, and you do have a separate um, wrapper of class too, which you might not need, but depending on your workflow, but you also have your content alpha class. So it's basically your card level class is still on there. And then you also have BEM classes to then rename uh, within your icon box. And so that can speed up your workflow too. Um, now the other thing, uh, now remember though, so like if we come here to this box here, if we extend, uh, if we, yeah, if we, um, you can extend styles or let's just create classes. Let's just do, uh, oops. Let's do card Bravo, erase ID styling, create classes. Yep. So let's do that. Let's just turn off the button. I don't really need that. Okay, and again, if you come here to extend those classes again, now let's extend the classes to the other blocks within here. Again, same idea, it's gonna do that. However, you'll notice that this again has not come over. So just something to keep in mind that it does not bring over children elements to the other structures within the card. All right, so you'd have to come in here uh, to add that and just something to keep in mind. And same with the, you know, the icon and the heading. So but again, um, being able to extend classes that quickly lets you be able to build your cards out quickly and style them and have them uh, with them classes and then, you know, save as a template. You can componentize them pretty quickly. So. Anyway, just a quick uh, refresher, I guess, more for myself on uh, some advanced steamer workflows. All right, bye.